do some turbo testing. So if you guys don't know, I've been trying to toy around with turbos and it's not a super cheap thing to do, but it's something I need to know. I need to learn these things. I'm going to do it firsthand. On the truck right now is a 60, 67, 18 H1C. So the H1C is completely rebuilt, has the HX thrust collar in it, and has the upgraded thrust bearing, it's full 360 degree thrust bearing. So it can withstand power. Otherwise, this thing would probably just blow to pieces. Now with that being said, I still prefer an HX35. The technology is just way more superior. So right here, show you guys, I've got, I don't know, I just cleaned it with some brake clean and whatnot. Uh, so take it for what you will. A freshly rebuilt HX35. Now this is just the bearing housing. I've got all the other stuff sitting here. I'm going to use the exhaust housing that's on the truck. And we're going to throw this on the truck. I'm going to clean up the mating surfaces of the oil drain, all that good stuff. Unfortunately, I'm not going through the trouble of stripping this housing right now. It's not really a good use of my time. I'm going to but I am going to use that housing and we are going to make a let's think about this. I believe the stock compressor wheel for an HX35 which is this bad boy. I'll get my dial calipers out in a second. I believe it's 56 millimeter. So we are going to throw together a 56 67 18 HX35 and we're going to see how this thing spools. Uh, for warning, this 60 67 18 is just a cast setup and the thing's a monster. Like I've never felt 10 PSI pull so hard. It has insane amounts of low end and the torque is just ridiculous. It's so torquey and it it would be a blast for a setup. If I'm uh, if I was to do something like that and you guys were thinking about it, this truck does have lots of fuel upgrades, but a stock truck that'd be all you need, even if it's a VE. 6067 uh, either a 12 that has a wastegate would be very nice or a HX Super 9 house, uh, exhaust housing which is the HE351 9CM housing uh, from Bradley over at Savage Fab. If you had them put that on there, that'd be nuts. He's been testing one here lately and that's going to be awesome. And I think Finley Precision Inductions, FPI, I think they are going to release a billet 60 millimeter wheel that is going to be it's going to change a lot of things and a lot of things in the pulling truck world for work stock classes. So we're going to throw this together and we're going to see how it spools, uh, how it reacts with this kind of fuel. Um, we're just going to have some fun with it and relay the information to you guys. I'm just trying to do some stuff so you guys can make better judgment on what turbos to pick. Now it's going to make enough power that's just going to blow through the converter. Uh, like always, my 67, 67, 18 is awesome. It just blows through the converter. Uh, so I'm losing a lot of power there. But these are so low end, torquey. It's using all the fuel that the VE can provide at the low end. So that's why I think these things are so awesome. So I'm going to start tearing out that turbo and getting it out so I can put the parts in this one. And we're going to let it rip and see what happens. So I'm going to, you're sitting on a trash can right now, but I'm probably going to roll that over here. And just let you put you on time lapse, let you guys watch it because I need to get a video out and you guys have been on me about that. So we're going to get rolling. And I'm going to get my tools out and set you guys up. We'll be right back. Hey, just want to show you guys something real quick. Uh, this is actually the 60. It is a cast wheel. But like I said, it is an H1C. Here's, I mean, most of you guys know here's the proof. Most people can tell the difference, but I just want to state that it is an H1C. This is a WH1C compressor housing. Uh, I don't know why I used it. I just had a bunch of parts laying around, but it does have the V-band on it. No turbo blanket on. It's it's sitting in my truck. I had taken it off. But we're gonna we're gonna pull this off, like I said. I just pulled the the uh, oh the air filter intake off. There is you know as much play as you'd normally expect in a rebuilt turbo, so there hardly any. It's doing well. It's been on here. I haven't made any hard pulls with it or anything, but that's why I'm changing it up to the HX35. I want to try something that I know will last instead of blow up something and have to go through everything and do a deep cleaning of the oil system. 
but let's set you guys back up here and we are gonna get to work I need to see if yep that's right so most of my uh, b-band clamps are 11 mil so I don't know if that's way with most of your guys and stuff but most of mine is 11 mil so the hot I guess this would be the cool side I don't know the intercooler pipe on this side that would be band 11 uh, this is probably a 13 if I was to guess nope nope it is not so Really, I don't have any reason to take that off, so I'm probably going to leave the compressor housing, undo the oil feed and oil drain, and then pull the undo the bolt, the four bolts for the bearing housing, which I believe are 13 millimeter, and undo those four, pull those out, and then we will pull this whole thing out and leave our downpipe and our turbine housing on, so we don't have to go through uh, taking it off the manifold and all that stuff. It's it's kind of a hassle, so. Oil feed, oil drain. Oil drain should be 10 mils. Oil feed, I can't remember if that's a 13 or 14. And then, I cannot, might even be 15, I cannot remember. And then the turbine housing bolts, those are four of them and they all should be 13 mils. So I'm gonna grab those tools right now. We'll be right back. All right, we are back. Uh, so I grabbed 13 and 10 millimeter ratchet wrenches and Oil feed on this truck is a 16, actually, so I was wrong on that. It's bigger than I thought. I guess I forgot. But I'm going to go ahead and pull the oil feed off. Now, whenever I, I unscrewed it all the way, but I kind of leave it sat in the top of the housing where the feed screws in. Because if it's going to drip any oil, I want it to do it do it into the turbo, and it's just less mess, honestly. So I'm done with that. Ten mil now. Got to think about which way this goes. Do yourself a favor. Let your truck cool down before you do this. Obviously, I'm sure that's a given. I just want to state that. I have to get a chair to stand on here in a second. See how this works. There's that big old six, 76, 67 turbine wheel. So we're going to take this back over here to the bench. All right, guys, so that is a 10 mil 12 point and a 19 mil 12 point as well to get that off. I don't know if you guys will need to know that or not. Like this. into the HX35. I know it's supposed to sit farther down than that, but if it will, I don't know. I know I'm not supposed to do that, so we'll see what happens. Huh. 
Huh. It just fell in as soon as I was getting really confused. So, there's that. Very free spinning. And that actually leads me to something else. This was the stock turbine wheel and shaft for it. And this will not go back in, therefore this is probably bent. So, that's going to need to be new anyway. Also, I want to do a size comparison for you guys. It's kind of funny, but... Alright. Can you... I assume you guys can see that pretty well. So, this is a 76, that is measured at the bottom of the fence, 76, 67, measured up here, turbine wheel. This is a 70, compared to the 76, and a 60 up here, so a 70, 60 stock turbine wheel, 76, 67, big turbine wheel. This moves the air right here, this is where it's all at and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This has 10 blades, this has 12 blades. Uh, does make a lot of difference. Alright, so we got that in there. Now, we're going to go with a stock cast wheel. This wheel is in good enough shape to do what we want to do. And by good enough, I mean there's, there's nothing wrong with it. That's perfectly fine. So, put that there, cut that down. Now, we're going to get our bolt, or nut, I mean. I can't remember what this is. I think it's like 8 foot pounds or something. I just get it on there snug because it's going to tighten itself up anyway. So. That's loose. Remember, these things are reverse thread. Don't get on there trying to take it off like normal. These are, these threads are reverse. You have to, whenever you're going to tighten it down, you click it to the left side to loosen it. So just like you were going to loosen something, like on anything else, you're going to do that to tighten this. It's going to be confusing. That's just how it is. free spinning just like we want um, right now obviously you can't tell how much play there is that well but like hardly any and this will be our compressor housing unfortunately very ugly in my opinion I'm gonna have to get this thing on here fairly well make sure our how this is gonna spin free Alright folks, I finally got the snap ring on the back. That thing, just an absolute pain. So needless to say, Gavin is ordering new snap ring pliers like tonight, whenever I get home. It's freaking huge. Just the biggest set I can find because there's actually two holes for snap rings or you can use these. Well, the secret was the vise ended up working the best. So I'm going to get this bottom surface cleaned up and the other one, or yeah, I don't need to clean the other one up. Just get this bottom surface cleaned up and we are going to throw this on the truck. I'll throw you guys up there. Alright guys, I am putting the oil drain on the turbo. I've already put the like turbo on the exhaust housing. so. We're just putting on the oil drain now. I can't tell what's going on here. The bolts aren't tightening down like they normally do, so I don't know if it's just because the threads are dirty or what, but I'm trying to get that situated right now. Then we'll put the oil feed on and all the other stuff and we'll fire it up.
One thing a lot of people forget is this fitting that goes on top of the turbo for the oil feed and it connects your uh, I don't know your oil feed line to the turbo so I'm going to go ahead and put this on here it is a 19 mil Just snug on that. I mean, it tightens down pretty quick. Um, next, uh, we're going to pre lube the turbo. This is a very important step. So, I've just got a little, I don't know, pistol grip oil thing, and I'm going to fill the turbo. I don't know about fill, but put oil in the turbo, spin the wheel just a little bit, and get some oil circulating through there. And then we'll put the turbo drain on and then put our filter on. And we'll be ready to go. So, or ready for first startup anyway. Alright, so startup time is officially here. Got everything secured. Uh, I'm going to start it without the filter right now and just see, make sure everything's good to go. Then we'll throw the filter on, take it for a test drive. So I'm going to start this thing up. <laughs> 